Content marketing. Yes, content is still king. Content is crucial for multiple reasons. Content is what Google uses to index and understand your site. Content is what brings people to your website and gives them a reason to stay there. And content is what will allow you to build loyal fans that stick with you. We know this is the end goal because we've discussed the value of repeat traffic over and above any other form of traffic. How to write a stunning SEO article that readers and Google will love. If you're setting out to write a stunning SEO article, then you may already have your wire somewhat crossed. More specifically, setting out to write an SEO article means you're probably setting out with entirely the wrong objective. Writing an SEO article suggests that you are writing for Google first and for your visitor second. It probably means you're going to try and lace your article with key phrases and that you're going to come up with a clickbait title for Facebook. But if you read Google's guidelines carefully and paid attention over the last few chapters, that's exactly what you're not meant to do. Google's advice is to write for the reader first and to forget about SEO entirely. The perfect length. One thing that will help you to write the perfect SEO article is to make sure your article is the right length. Ideally, it should be about 1,400 to 1,800 words. This is what a lot of research shows to be Google's preferred length, and it's long enough that you can deliver some real high-quality content to your reader. How to use keywords. What's more is that an 1,800-word article will allow you to include your key phrases a few times without it looking obvious. If your article is 1,800 words, you can repeat your key phrase five times and still be well under 1% density. The human factor. Finally, remember that Google doesn't care about you. All it cares about is your readers and whether it thinks they'll enjoy your content. And more and more, Google is now using human signals to decide this. Of particular importance is how long people spend on your page and whether they click on your internal links. Are they reading your content and engaging with it? Make sure that you aren't driving visitors away by keeping ads to a minimum, spacing out your content, and using engaging language that will draw them in. The aim is to reduce your bounce rates, which represent the number of people that leave your site almost immediately after visiting. The most important to reduce this metric is to make sure your content is engaging and interesting. That means it should have an emotional hook. If it's informational, it should provide information in a direct and engaging manner to really bring people in. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.